What's up WordPress nerds? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your website super slow. Um, I've got a portfolio here that uh, we've already got a really good uh, uh, score on and we are going to throw it into the ground. Uh, so first, what I would probably do is I would make sure that uh, we have a new theme installed, but we want a really nice theme. Let's look for the most popular themes. It's like the first non-automatic one here is Astra. So we're going to go ahead and install that bad boy. And once that's installed, let's activate it. And let's just take a look here real quick at the options. Uh, looks like there's a lot of cool plugins that we can just activate. Let's just activate every single one of these because we want all of these features. It's not going to matter whether we're going to use these or not, but let's actually uh, just go ahead and install them and activate them because we just want to make sure that we have them if we need them. So now that we've got all that, we can go to our home page and oh, it looks still pretty good. Um, but you know what? Actually, let's let's not use that theme. Let's use a different theme. I want a little bit more control over my site. So I'm instead going to use something. Oh, I don't know, like this next one. Hello, Elementor. Elementor is pretty good. You can do a lot with your site with it. Let's actually install Elementor too, just like this prompt asks us to. Uh, we want to make sure that we have Elementor at our fingertips. And let's go ahead and create our first page. Now I'm going to be making a really cool portfolio here. So let's just uh, bring this in. We'll center it, make sure we get a nice big H1 that says welcome to my site. And for good measure, we want to make this really pop. So let's add some motion effects. And just let's fade it in extra slow so people see it come in. I'll make sure that that gets published as well. Let's also take into account um, that we're going to need to let people know where I live. Um, and so I live, sure, I live at the London Eye. And let's just give that a nice bit of height here. Um, we really want to make sure that uh, people see that uh, they know where I live because that's a really important part to uh, making sure your portfolio uh, stands out here. Uh, we can also say, um, well, let's, uh, oh, why not? Let's bring in some, uh, some video. Why not? We need to, we're going to have like a little video talking about ourselves. So we're going to bring in another heading here. It says about me. Perfect. So we're, we're really off to the right track. And I, I, you know what, you know, to go with the video, let's make sure that we've got SoundCloud, a little something for the user to, to hear a little bit about like who we are and like what we like to listen to. So let's uh, make sure that that gets in there as well. So not only do, can they like know where I live and they can see a little bit of video about me, but they can also listen, you know, really get the full picture about who I am. Uh, on top of that, I really think that we need to get like a picture of me. So we're going to go to Pexels and we're going to look for just handsome man because I mean, I am one. So why not? I mean, we're being a little bit disingenuous here, but we want to make sure we grab the biggest image possible that it'll let us. And we're going to download that and make sure that we get our image component placed inside of here. And let's upload that. So we're going to choose an image. And we're going to insert that. Now, we want to make sure that we have the sharpest image possible. We're not going to compress this image. We're not going to do anything. And we're not even going to crop it because we want to make sure that the absolute um, every single pixel that was intended is there. So we're going to uh, pick full right there as well. Uh, and now usually what I like to see, um, actually, let's, let's label this. This is what I look like. Handsome, right? Don't want any spelling errors. All right. And this is, this also needs to be an H1 and let's make sure it gets animated as well. So let's uh, come in here into motion effects and Ooh, yeah, let's zoom in. I like that. That looks good. Um, now, I typically like to show lots of pictures, and I only have this little space over here. So let's make sure that we get 
um, another plugin here that's going to help us out. I really like to have you know lots of pop when it comes to my portfolio, so I want to make sure that I have something that's going to fit my need. I'm not going to settle for anything less. So we're going to look for a slider plugin. Smart slider looks pretty good. It's compatible with my version of WordPress. Five stars. That must mean it's pretty efficient, right? Almost, almost a million installs. So let's go ahead and activate that. And oh, we've got our smart slider down here. Let's go to our dashboard. Let's not show that again. And let's do a new project and we'll start with a template. Uh, I like animals, so let's import this. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So what? don't worry, we want to make sure that this uh, is not optimized. And we want to make sure that it's not lazy loaded as well, because we want to make sure that it comes in right away. So let's go back to our page here. And let's go ahead and insert this into the text editor and update our page. Now we'll get some cool pictures of like wildlife and all that inside of our uh, system here. Uh, the other thing that I want to make sure people can see is I want to make sure that my uh, social media is accounted for. I can't not let people share what this, uh, this beautiful creation. So I'm going to look for social share. And we are just, oh, wow, look at that. That just popped through. And look how exciting that is. I want to be, I want to have a site that's as exciting as that animated image. So I'm going to activate that. Now, how on earth am I going to get that onto my page? Let's see, ultimate social media icons. Let's skip that. Wow, this is intimidating. This is very intimidating. <laughs> I don't even, okay, I got it. Uh, which icons do you want to show on your site? All of them. All of them. All of them. All right, now how do I do it? I save it. Let's just keep saving it. Now how do I put it on my, how do I put it on my site? Help. Where shall it be displayed? Place via short code. Okay, here we go. That wasn't confusing at all. Save. Let's go back to my page. Edit with Elementor. Let's get this on there. No time to waste. We have got all this space that we need to fill up. No white space allowed. Text editor. Throw this in there and display ultimate social icons. It's not wrapping it, is it? Yeah, it's wrapping it. Let's get rid of that. Let's place that. Yeah, all right. Now this is starting to look good. Um, last but not least, let's make sure that we get our uh, menu on here. We've Well, let's create a menu. Oh boy. So let's, uh, um, well, themes, menus, throw that in here. And then let's create and get a new plugin. Like don't rely on, you know, something like Elementor to do a menu. Uh, we want to make our own menu and, uh, oh, let's, let's actually extend Elementor. Let's, uh, grab this elements kit. That seems pretty cool. We want to make sure that we throw their JavaScript and CSS in here as well. We're going to activate that and uh, let's not pay attention to any of the Astra stuff that I had originally. We want to keep that in there just in case we reactivate Astra, right? So we're going to go back to our pages and we are going to edit with Elementor and we are going to, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. This is looking real good. Um, let's go find that. Okay. Elements kit. And we've got, where's our menu? Oh man, there's like image comparisons and all this kind of stuff. There's so, yeah, like we're, we're going to compare some Im images. All right. What did I look like before? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to say like what I looked like before and after I looked like this. 
or no, that's that's my after photo. That's what I look like now. What did I look for? Look at like before. I mean, probably this guy, right? Oh yeah, this is a nice high resolution image. And we are gonna make sure that everybody knows how I clean up. Oh yeah, now we're talking, oops. I messed it up, come back. There we go, we're back. We just need to do that image again. Insert, update. And then we're gonna throw a title on there. Here is a handy slider to see how nice I clean up. Okay, we got a little distracted. We're gonna look for a menu from our Elementor kit. Let's uh, make sure, let's not get crazy in that one section. Let's uh, we've got a nice uh, two column layout here. Let's go back to that menu. We want that over here. Let's just say we want menu one to look, go right there. Can we animate this? You bet we can. We're gonna bounce in. Boing. And I need a logo. Logo. I have a pretty fire logo. Oh yeah, nice high resolution. Let's download that. And let's throw this in here. And then I think, you know, in these few simple steps, we can have this uh, portfolio done. I mean, what more do you need? Not large, we want full. All right, I am really feeling this. Oops. We probably spent what, five, five minutes of this? This is pretty good. Oh yeah, we could even autoplay these guys just to make it even more, make it pop even more. But I'm really happy with this. Let's just, you know, let me uh, see how well we did here. Oh wait, now I'm gonna be fair. We gotta be fair. Don't don't generate this report yet. We have to do this in an incognito window because we don't want all of that WordPress admin bar stuff in here. Let's generate my portfolio.local. Let's get let's see this report. I mean, it looks like it went pretty fast. I think we're gonna be doing okay. Oh boy. Oh no. See, this is what I don't understand about WordPress. Is like you just like it's just a slow system. Like I, I, I just put a couple images on here and I get a red score. This is this is kind of ridiculous. I don't I don't see why anybody would use WordPress. It's just a slow system. So I, I, I might have to find something else, guys. So if if you want to see more kind of videos of about me just like showing how slow WordPress is, let me know and uh, we'll figure something out. Thanks guys for watching. Subscribe, like if you like the video, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one.